What's for dinner? Well, I'm gonna make zucchini pesto. So it's pesto sauce, um, but made with zucchini. It's hearty, it's super tasty, it's delicious, and it's so easy to make. And it goes great over any pasta. You can use it as a spread on sandwiches. You can dip stuff in it. It's delicious. But we're gonna use it as a pasta sauce tonight. And what you need is And then you want to cut them right down the middle just like this just cut them in thin slices doesn't have to be perfect if you have a mandolin you can use a mandolin Put about a tablespoon of olive oil in your pan, get it nice and hot. Then you're gonna put all your zucchini in the pan and let it start getting nice and browned. You don't wanna move it around a lot. You want the zucchini at the bottom to get nice and toasted. Then you're gonna stir, let it get toasted, stir. It's gonna be about a 10 to 12 minute process, um, especially if you have a pan like mine where there's zucchini on top of zucchini on top of zucchini. If you have a griddle pan, then you can do that and then there won't be as much stirring and it would be a much quicker process, maybe five minutes. See that? And then let it sit. So while that gets brown, over here, I'm gonna mince the garlic. So you're gonna let this cook about eight to 10 minutes and you're gonna stir it about every two minutes. The goal is to have nice, soft, golden brown zucchini, but nothing burned. Right now I have this at a medium heat. Or if your stove goes one to 10, it's about between a four and a six. So what's good about this recipe and what makes it easy is that aside from the zucchini, none of these other ingredients need to be cooked or processed in any way. The spinach, the basil, the parmesan, the almonds, everything is gonna go in the food processor, just as is. And the lemon juice, you just need to squeeze the lemon juice and take out any seeds. But the zucchini and garlic are the only things that need to be cooked. Okay, so the zucchini is just about done. And before this goes in the food processor, you have to let the zucchini cool down. What I like to do is I like to take a large glass bowl and I like to put the spinach at the bottom of the bowl as well as the basil and then I pour the hot zucchini over the greens and it helps wilt them down and soften them up before I put them in the food processor and it just reduces the volume um, mainly because I have a small food processor. Um, if you have a large food processor and you can fit this all in your processor then you don't need to do this. But you do need to let the zucchini cool. So now I'm gonna let this sit here for about 20, 30 minutes until it cools down. You can work with it while it's warm, it just cannot be piping hot as it is now. And while this cools down, I am going to squeeze the lemon juice and get everything ready. Get my food processor set up. And I am also gonna use a blender and I'll tell you why in a minute. Okay, so as you can see, I have a very small food processor. It only takes about two cups. So I have to do this in batches. And my food processor doesn't really process that smoothly. Um, but what you want to do is take all the spinach, the basil, the zucchini, the almonds, the olive oil, salt and pepper to taste, the lemon juice, and the parmesan, and you want to process everything until smooth. And that's it. You're done. That is your sauce. 
Now, because my food processor is small, I do this in batches, and then I take the batches and dump them in the blender, and then I do another small batch, put it in the blender until my blender is full, and then I put it on puree, and it makes the smoothest, creamiest, most delicious sauce. But again, if you have a really nice, large, food processor and it processes smoothly and you can put everything in there at one time, then by all means do that. I am doing a two-step process just because this is the equipment that I have to work with. So now that this is semi-processed, I take it out of here, I put it in my blender and I keep doing that until the blender is full and then I put the blender on puree and I just let her rip until I have a creamy, super yummy, delicious, smooth sauce. how thick that is. Once you put the hot pasta and start mixing it up, it's gonna get nicely coated on the pasta, delicious. Now, this makes a big batch, so if you're not gonna use all this for your pasta, then you can save this. You can spread it on sandwiches. I'm definitely gonna save some of this because it's just two of us eating this tonight. The kids, they're having regular spaghetti. But I'm gonna save this and I'm going to put this on sandwiches. I'm going to spread it on wraps. It's going to be a dipping sauce. But if you're going to go through the effort of making it, you might as well make the full batch and use it for sandwiches instead of mayo. Delicious. Okay, guys, so this is the bulk of the sauce. And in keeping with the green theme, healthy vegetables, I'm going to use spinach pasta tonight. So I'm going to get this boiling. And then I'll toss the hot pasta and some of the sauce right in the pan and I'll show you in a bit how we're going to serve it up. The other half of this that I'm not using, I'm going to split that in half and I'm going to put half in the freezer and the other half I'm going to put in the fridge to use as spreads and dips. But the bit I'm going to put in the freezer is going to be sauce for another night already made. See that? I love this pasta. If you can find this pasta at your local grocery store, or your produce market, it is so good, the spinach pasta. And it comes like in these little nests. It's just really, really nice pasta. Okay, so I separated the sauce that I was gonna use into a separate pan, and I boiled my pasta, and now I'm gonna take the hot pasta, put it right in the sauce, and I'm gonna toss the pasta to get it nicely coated in this amazing zucchini pesto. It's a nice, thick sauce. And you can eat it just like this. You can put some shrimp over it. You can put some grilled chicken over it. You can even take extra zucchini, have it sauteed, separated, and just sprinkle it right over the top when you're about to serve it. We're gonna keep it vegetarian tonight. Okay, so let's get this plated up and do a taste test. So we have the delicious spinach pasta, nice and tender, with that delicious basil creamy pesto zucchini sauce. And all we're gonna do to this now is I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of fresh parm right over the top, and then I'm gonna come in with these delicious sauteed mushrooms, and that's it. Let's give this a taste. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. That is so good. The basil, the garlic, mm so good guys if you're looking for a healthier option pasta sauces that don't have sugar that are low cholesterol but get you tons of veggies then try this veggie zucchini pesto it is delicious mm -mm -mm. anyway thanks for watching we are going to go enjoy our delicious dinner. Bye.